I have spent so many moments thinking about how to put into words my feelings for Matt, someone I love with my entire being, my soulmate, the love of my life, and my best friend. A man that walked into my life in May of 1997 and made my life complete. A good man that was, was a wonderful and dedicated dad to you, Jacob, Madeline, and Zachary. A man that perfected lessons he learned from his mom and dad, such as family first, remain humble, work hard, never give up, and love fiercely. A man that was so proud of his sister, Allison, and his brother, David, he often sounded more like a parent than an older sibling. Matt was protective, honest, hardworking, humble, and passionate about being a great dad and husband. These qualities spilled into the classroom, the field, and in our community. He always wanted to work harder to be the best he could be for us. He was determined to lead by example for his students, players, colleagues, friends, and neighbors. Matt had a great sense of humor. The humor, this humor made many laugh, some blush, and our kids roll their eyes. He loved a good game, match, or tournament. To say he was competitive would have been an understatement. It didn't matter if the game, it was a game of football, baseball, golf, swimming, water polo, and yes, even curling. He was a competitor. Matt was well-versed in one-liners from Caddyshack, Seinfeld, and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, almost like he wrote the scripts. The television show MASH or ESPN were his go-tos when he couldn't sleep. He and, his boy, he and the boys bonded over the deadliest catch, Swamp People, Alaska the Last Frontier, and let's not forget Big Bang Theory. He had a soft spot for musicals such as Grease, Guys and Dolls, and Mamma Mia, and even loved them more when he was watching them with you, Maddie. He enjoyed working in the yard and purposely set the lawnmower blade high so he could mow twice. He was often seen pushing the snowblower down Coronado Street, clearing driveways, just because he thought it was fun. He loved chopping wood, fishing, hunting, completing crosswords, camping, sitting around campfires, playing cards, and dreaming of what adventures we would take in the future. Matt had so many wonderful qualities that made him our most valuable player. But the most important quality was Matt's trust and relationship with God throughout our journey. You see, we together had a lot to work at finding our faith on July 17, 2017. We knew there was no way we could take on this opponent on our own. So Matt let go of his normal playbook and picked up God's playbook. He vowed to fight and win against our opponent, cancer, but also vowed to believe in a plan that we didn't understand. Matt met each trick play, cheap shot, and loss of yards against cancer with dignity and faith. He couldn't see the end zone, but trusted that God would lead us in the right direction, and he kept us going. When knocked down, he picked himself up, wiped off the blood, sweat, and tears, and asked for help. Matt knew eventually the time would come when God would call the play that would ultimately bring him to victory. Although Matt started his game with hopes of playing longer here on earth, he actually won the game, receiving eternal life on December 28, 2019. Our family has drawn strength from all of you that have rallied, cheered, and believed in Matt. You shared the times when we made gains and the times we took painful hits. Many of you used your well-established faith and belief in God, and some of you may have found a new faith and belief in God. Throughout this journey, Matt and I had so many deep, heartfelt talks that ended with recognizing some reasons to be grateful for this painful season of life. You see, God's plan pulled our family closer together and taught us about endless love, empathy, fear, pain, and walking by faith and not by sight. After many tears, I believe God's plan was to use Matt to inspire those around him. 
to love even when being presented with heartbreak, to find the good when it would be easy to default to the bad. I believe God's plan was to teach us to spread joy and encouragement when fear and anger might be easier. God's plan was to take a man that touched so many lives and teach him to live like Jesus with hopes that others would follow. As our family continues our journey on earth, we feel a void that can never be filled. We will have times of emptiness, loneliness, anger, and sadness that will feel so heavy that we will feel like we cannot breathe. We will experience moments in life when we will feel Matt's absence in such an intense way, we will question why God had to take him so soon. My dream of growing old together will not be a reality on earth, and I can only dream of the time when I'll see him again. I also know in time we will feel happiness, we will laugh freely again, and know what true love feels like because of Matt. Jake, Maddie, and Z. I know that you will face the challenges of losing a parent. You will grieve and ask why. I also know that you will find joy in unfortunate circumstances. You will love with all your heart, and you will continue to learn to trust God just as your dad did. I will always treasure that Matt is my husband, my soulmate, my best friend. I will also treasure that he was your dad. Jake, Maddie, and Z. I know that we were your dad's life, the focus of his love and the reason he played this game. I also know that victory on earth is temporary and that he has won an internal victory and was told, well done, good and faithful one, when he stood in front of God. Matt, you were victorious, and the kids and I know we will see you again when we are called. Game over.